Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I thought we'd unbox it and then just talk about what's new. Since it's very similar to last year's Z Flip 3, we'll just cover what's new with the features and changes with Z Flip 4, and also take a look at the silicone cover with ring case that was included free with the pre-order when I bought this. So I bought this myself. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description if you want to check it out. Sometimes they have some credits and more to give you free things, whether that be this or maybe Galaxy Buds 2. Things like that can be included for free typically when you pre-order and sometimes even after. Now this comes in at $999 and goes up to $1,179 and the new variant this year is 512 gigabytes. There's 128, 256 and now 512. This is the 256 model and it comes in Bora purple, graphite, pink gold and blue. There's also some bespoke editions as well. Now let's go ahead and unbox this and I forgot my unboxing knife here at the office so let's go ahead and just pull this back like that now that we've got these pulled off they've removed some of the paper from the back but let's open this up and this is the new blue color so let's see what we've got here in the top just some simple paperwork so we don't get a charger this time around we've got a sim card removal tool and then of course our usb-c to usb-c and nothing in there so not a whole lot to come with this of course a quick start guide as well let's set that aside and take a closer look at the phone so here it is let's just do that nothing in the bottom of the box and let's take a look around the phone so we'll remove the wrapper here i've got a little tab and here's a little arrow to peel this back And then you can see the phone itself. Now, one difference right away, and I can show you side by side, is the edges are more squared off and they're now shiny. They're sort of a shiny finish and they're also a matte finish on the back. Now, the previous one, the phantom black color is already a matte black finish, but it's more of a matte finish this year, even for the glossy colors. And then they've made the edge flatter with glossy edges, sort of a stainless steel or polished aluminum edge. And it's strong magnets at the top there. It's pulling them together. Also, you can see the camera bump is a bit different. So you can see here, right there, the camera bump is definitely protruding out a little bit more than it did before. That's a little bit bigger and that's because there's upgraded cameras. Again, we'll talk about that more in just a moment. There's also an updated hinge that's supposed to be a little bit better. So as we bend this here or fold it, it definitely feels a little bit different, stiffer there compared to the previous one. It's definitely looser on the Z Flip 3 compared to the Z Flip 4. It feels like it'll hold in more positions this time around. Internally, there's an updated processor this year, a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, of course, so that's nice that we've got that upgraded processor and it should help it run cooler. Now with the new hinge this year, they've actually been able to shrink the hinge, increasing internal volume so that it now has a larger 3,700 milliamp hour battery, up from 3,300 in the previous generation. So that's a 12% increase. It also has 25 watt fast charging if you're using it wired. That'll give you about 50% charge in 30 minutes or so. Now, like I said, there's upgraded cameras. We have a 12 megapixel wide with an f1.8 aperture, larger pixels for up to 40% better performance in low light, thanks to the camera itself and that new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And then also a 12 megapixel ultra wide with an f2.2 aperture. We have a front facing camera on the display as well, and that's a 10 megapixel f2.4. We do have the exact same display size this year, so no differences there. And you can see around the outside edge, the bezels are basically the same. So everything is the same other than that flatter edge and glossy side. So really no difference as far as that goes. Also this year, the adhesion to the screen protector is supposedly stronger that should leave for less sort of breaking away from that at the crease. So that's something that's different. The display itself is not different though. Also, the Z Flip 4 weighs a little bit more at 187 grams as opposed to 183 grams, probably due to that larger battery and the upgraded cameras. Around the outside edge, there's no difference whatsoever. So no changes there, not really worth talking about other than that upgraded hinge. Now, one thing I did wanna show you is that the previous generation case will fit as well. Even though we have a new case, you still can fit this on here despite the slight change in the sides, but you can fit the previous generation case. So if you have one you like, it will fit. If not, of course, the new one was included. Now let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll talk about what's new with the software. 
Now, once you turn on flex panel mode for a specific app, so you'll see I've turned it on for Chrome. If maybe we go into Chrome here and we'll just accept, we won't sync for now. And maybe we'll go to Samsung. Once we're in the website, if we just fold it here, we can go into a flex panel mode. And this time around, if we enable the option, we can turn this into a trackpad. So that's something new in the software. So we have two finger scrolling. So you'll see here, we have two finger scrolling as I move up and down. And then we have a little mouse pointer. So if we want to view all, we can just tap, open that up look at the different deals for Samsung devices. And again, two finger scrolling is available. It's a full trackpad if you wanna use this, maybe it's on a desk or something else. You can use that in any app you turn it on for. So that's something new in the software. On the cover display, if we swipe down, we have new toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and flashlight. We can also quick reply to some different messages with sort of canned responses. They're already pre-selected, so they're not super helpful in that we can't type on here, but that's something new that's brought in the software. Of course, they could bring that to the Z Flip 3 as well. Additionally, there's more customization to the clock. So as we scroll all the way over to the right, you'll see there's a bunch of different options now. So quite a few options for the clock. And then at the end, we can go to cover screen settings, open it up, unlock, and you'll see those additional settings here. You can change the clock background image using your wallpapers or the gallery as well. If we go into camera and then we fold it, now we can use it in what they call camcorder mode. So if you want to hold the camera like this, you can do that and see everything in the display here. On the cover display, if you're using the camera, double tap it and you can now change aspect ratios. So that's a nice little feature that's built in and makes it nice to be able to swap without going back into your settings. And so that's everything as far as new features and changes. Not a whole lot as far as that goes. It still has eight gigs of RAM, just an upgraded battery, which should be a nice welcome feature for most people. Now let's go ahead and open up the case. So this is, as you can see, silicone cover with ring. Let's peel this back here. We'll open it up and take a look. Not a whole lot in here, just a little guide on how to install it got a little piece of paper there and it looks like we do have some adhesive inside the case. So here's the case itself. It's silicone, just like you would expect on maybe an Apple silicone case. It feels basically the same, very smooth texture, not terribly grippy. And if we pull these little tabs off here, they're adhesive and we've got the little ring. Now it looks like we can remove this if we want to. So if we don't want the ring there and we just want the case, you can do that. If you want the ring, just clip it into place like this. It clips on both sides and then we can snap the phone in the top and then also the bottom. So we'll just snap it in like this and now it's in place. So I actually like the leather case a little bit more from before, but it's basically the exact same thing. So you have the opening of course for your display on the outside. And then once we close it with the ring, you'll see it moves and sort of pushes the ring out of the way. So you could hold on to it like that. It could be very handy if you wanted to maybe attach it to something so you don't drop it. And of course on the bottom, it leaves the speaker hole open as well as the USB-C and microphones. And then when we fold it, you've got the little ring. Like I said, you can remove the ring if you want to, so that's always nice. And it's basically just a simple case like you would expect. The button presses feel what you would expect. They're not really interfering as far as the case goes. And the, the fingerprint slash sleep wake button is actually out of the way, but is easy to access. So pretty nice case. It, like I said, it was included free. So if you pre-order, of course, it should be free. If not, it will cost a little bit. So it's not a huge upgrade this year for the Z Flip 4, but it's a nice little upgrade with that battery as well as the overall camera. So that should be really nice. That processor should also be more efficient and get you through the day a little bit longer. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the Z Flip 4, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.